Hello, trading has closed on the 2nd of February, 2024. We'll do our disclaimer, we'll go over our calls, we'll make some predictions. Uh, please trade at your own risk, my calls can be wrong. Also, this next week I'm not going to have much time to analyze. I'm not certain I'll be risking much of my own money on these calls. Look for the pattern with the early low, which is this. Tends to be a rally day with a high in the final hour, so we got that. It's a reminder of what we said. Monday's pattern has the early high, which doesn't say where we open, just that there'll be an early high in the pattern. Gapped up, rallied all day, but then we closed under all these intraday highs, which means the last few hours of trading at new all-time highs didn't accomplish anything. Now, what counts isn't this close, but Monday's open. This is a wall into the close. We could certainly gap up and undo this, but if this is real, it's bearish formation because the least likely time to get prices to reverse is late on a Friday, particularly when it's been a trending day, rallying all day to new all-time highs. It's the least likely time people are going to want to sell. Most of the time, people want to jump on the train. Early on, BJT gave a pie signal that worked. But it says that this rally isn't going to stick. We're going to retrace to this line, 49.20.70. If we don't gap up smartly, that's my call. Buy signal in the afternoon doesn't tell the next move, which is since it was the, uh, which the system said was false, and that's already played out. This is the weekly chart. That is bar 13 of Tom DeMarc's combo sell signal. These things tend to mark areas of highs. Doesn't have to be an exact high, but it means you're overextended and that's the signal. Not going to claim they all work, but some of them do. And if we top here, that's one reason to expect it. In addition to retracing all these gains in the last few hours. Still haven't cleared this resistance line. Well, these were the dates we had for possible highs. Now, um, there's a three-day window, so we're still within the window of this January 1st high. These are at the January 1st price target. These targets are all measured from panic lows, which happened long ago. What uh, Carol Ann do is he measures from highs and from lows. A friend of mine says that uh, he's found much greater success just measuring from the, from the panic lows, and that's the number we got. But if you measure from the, the highs, today was a direct hit, February 2nd, 2024. Now, it's the length of these intervals which is critical he calls these F counts, and the F count that gave us this date is a very large number, and the F count that measures from this February 2 from today, that's a very, very large number. Now, none of these things have to work, but if they work, if they work, the bigger the number, the bigger the reaction. So if this is a high here, it should be a significant high with a big drop. And we'll find that out, I think, early next week. Well, here's the count we have. This is the major low. It's going to hold in any case. This is the first leg up. I had a target for the first leg up. I had, this is wave three. 61.8% was wave one, 
and I measured wave four starting here gave me a target around 49.52 and we've gone past that. But it isn't really a stretch to say wave four could end here. And in that case, the waves balance out right at this high, right at today's high. So by based on the wave count, and this wave count, one, two, three, four, five, also balances out. So we have balance of the waves right at today's high. Monday's pattern has a really high, it doesn't tell us where we open. There's a lower me JT target, lest we gap up smartly the rules call for it to print. Sentiment indicators are saying we're close to a top as funds and the right eggs bear funds dropped precipitously. Now these figures come out on Thursday and just because the amount of money the public had in these bear funds really took a huge drop in just a week, it didn't stop the big rally today. These aren't pinpoint indicators, but usually it's a sign when all the public throws in the towel and they take all their money out of bear funds, that's when the market's free to drop. We also have a weekly DeMarc combo sell signal don't always work, but when they do, it's significant. We're in, and we are in Caroline's window for a possible change in trend. Doesn't always work, but this is a candidate for a high. And there's a wave count compatible, very compatible, with this current leg up being over. So if this is a top and this is a great candidate, we could have a sizable decline started within three days. Frankly, I'd be leery if it didn't start almost immediately. Because we gapped up, hit a higher high, but closed under multiple intraday highs, the odds favor any such decline starting immediately. The timing of Friday's drop should mean either it was profit taking, in which case we should gap and promptly overtake this high, or buyers were spent, exhausted, in which case we should decline pretty much right from the opener very shortly thereafter. This is a confluence of indicators of many different people, many different techniques that mark this as a high which could be a very significant high. It doesn't change the long-term picture which says we're going higher. But we have a lower target, 49.20.70. That's my first target on the downside. We still have this 48.78.78 78 target doesn't have to print now, but it should print at some time. And this gap up yesterday, these spike lows with a gap up, these things are not stable patterns. They tend to fill at some point. So we could be dropping well over 100 handles pretty soon, if that's the top. And that we're not going to know, but it sure is a great candidate. We trade much over it, we gap and take this out. A lot of these things get tossed out the window, but for right now, this is real trouble if we start down. And usually, this last move on the Friday is going to continue early Monday. We won't know for certain if that happens until Monday. But if this is a top, it should be a big one. And that's today's call.